Well, we're, uh, I'm here today. Um, I'm your mayor, Brian Waller, Piscataway Township, along with the chief of police, uh, Tom Mosier. We're here to give you a little small briefing on what's been transpiring within the Piscataway community uh, since we're under uh, executive orders now by the governor to uh, please stay at home if possible. Um, uh, I just want to let the folks know town hall is officially closed. We are working through the process now of uh, what employees are going to be here uh, under the governor's order uh, in order to have services to continue. Um, I'm just asking all the residents to please be patient. Um, I know that not, not all government services are going to be delayed. Uh, however, I will go through a list of what we know and don't know at this point. So hopefully we will have that worked out by the end of today and, and um, uh, brief you on Wednesday or so to, to that effect. Um, but um, everybody knows that the uh, governor's um, new stay at home executive orders, there are still grocery stores and also gasoline stations and certain other takeout entities that are still open at this point, um, but there's others that are many or, that are closed. Uh, one of the questions we did get from the last briefing about um, some residents uh, wanted to know why we did not uh, announce where those folks that tested positive uh, for the COVID-19 uh, test is that we can't do that legally under the HIPAA, federal HIPAA laws. Uh, those folks have a right to privacy although the uh, county health department is keeping an eye on those people to make sure that they're adhering to uh, their uh, restrictions uh, to self-quarantine at home. Um, I also want to, I guess at this point, turn it over to the chief to talk a little bit further about that and then he has some other items to go over and then I'm gonna, we're going to come back to me to close this out. Go ahead, chief. Okay, I'd like to reiterate my comments from Friday and, and just explain to you that should, God forbid, you you have a, uh, a need for a medical response or for the rescue squad to come to your house uh, if there's a sick person. Um, when you call the police, just ensure that as the police dispatchers go through their medical protocol on the 911 cards, that you answer all the questions and, and answer them truthfully so that the responders, the police, fire, rescue, all know uh, what they're responding to and, and what they uh, should expect to find when they come to your house. It, uh, the questions are geared at uh, information that's pertinent to the response and it will keep everyone safe, the, the first responders, your family, and your uh, loved one who will need the transport if that's, uh, if that's the case or if it's uh, yourself, certainly. Um, all that stuff is confidential, the, the answers and um, it will keep everyone, everyone involved safe. Um, I wanted to go on to, to speak about a few other things. Um, social distancing is, is uh, the words of the, of the month. Please, when you're out on the, uh, on the, on the, in the parks, uh, you have to adhere to that social distancing. And when the officers ask you to, uh, to adhere to that, please, um, heed their advice and, and spread out. I know the mayor is gonna have uh, some words on um, some other things that are going on with the parks. He'll speak about that in a few minutes, but please, um, it, it's for your safety. It's to stop the spread of this disease. And uh, the officers do have many things that they have to take care of. So please, uh, if they ask, um, ad adhere to the social distancing. Uh, one point for uh, business owners, Please adhere to the uh, governor's executive orders. Uh, there are certain businesses that are exempt in manufacturing, but if your exemption allows you to remain open and, and manufacturing, please, you, you still must adhere to the social uh, distancing uh, parameters, which is six feet, which is a little, uh, actually, a little less than what I'm sitting next to the mayor at. Uh, please adhere to those social distancing parameters uh, within your business as you manufacture your products. Um, I closed my remarks on Friday about um, domestic violence and tolerance. I just wanted to reiterate that. We did have several domestic violence issues uh, since Friday. Uh, please be tolerant of each other and um, talk it out, don't fight it out. The police department is still making arrests on domestic violence, obviously, and um, it's a very serious situation. So. 
Um, talk it out. If you have to leave the house, do that. Uh, as I said, the police department is making arrests on that. So tolerance is key. Thank, thank you, Chief. Um, as the Chief talked about with the officers, especially in the parks, listen, we're keeping the parks open uh, for now, but um, we did, the Deep Department of Public Works did install signs saying that the playgrounds are closed within the parks. We had some issues over the weekend where I guess some parents or the kids just uh, evidently didn't read the sign or just totally ignored it. Um, we're asking all parents to speak with the children there to make sure that they don't go on. Uh, the playground equipment and also we're going to have Department of Public Works where we can, we're actually going to yellow tape it off uh, the playground equipment. I also want to remind uh, folks we had some issues with uh, large uh, groups of folks playing basketball. There's one thing if there's just a, a couple of folks but when you have uh, large organized games that presents a problem. Um, it was suggested by the health department that we will be taking down the basketball rims in the park for now. Uh, during this virus because we, we do not want to encourage large gatherings. Um, the Meals on Wheels will still be delivered if you're receiving any Meals on Wheels. Rest assured that that will still continue. Uh, over at Stirling Village, our seniors, uh, we we're screening to have uh, the grocery shopping done. Um, to drop off at the stores earlier, um, working in conjunction with the uh, grocery stores there. So those will continue. Uh, we've gotten several calls from houses of worship on how uh, they can help and members of congregations want to help out. We appreciate those calls. Uh, we, will get some, we will get back to you. We have your names and numbers, uh, how we can deal with that in this crisis. Also, uh, if there's any seniors within your neighborhood, um, feel free to contact them to see if they need anything. Um, it would be very good neighborly, but just remember to keep your social distance because the seniors are the ones who, uh, with this virus, are the most vulnerable. Um, the council meeting has been canceled for Tuesday night, uh, and we'll get back to you on that. We've just been informed today uh, that the energy aggregation letters did not go out as per BPU. Uh, we want to remind folks to keep an eye on our municipal website and Facebook account uh, for a future date in order for anybody who may or may not want to uh, opt out. So just look on the screen that we have showing right now and then also keep an eye on our Facebook and our municipal website for further information on the aggregation. For small businesses, uh, we have the small business at PiscataywayNJ.org. Send us your information on home delivery and live streaming So, uh, for your services. So we'll, we'll try to keep you abreast as best we could. Uh, bear with us uh, and we'll get the information back out for you.